The big leagues are the best ones. Oh. Uh, okay. And in the back, I have some. So where are you from, Mom? Uh, I am from Macomb, Mississippi. Oh. Uh, the best part of the state you could be from. And what did your grandparents tell you about their grandparents, sir? How I, far back can you can you go? You know, I can't go. I can only go back to my my grand my uh, grandparents because I don't know my great grandparents because oh. they passed away before I was born. So therefore, I don't know. I only know about my dad's dad, where mm -hmm. he had his own land. He didn't do sharecropping, but my dad he did sharecropping. Where he lived on the farm, and we had to go out and pick cotton, and they kept us out of school. So we did that for a long time. Then my mother, she got tired of picking cotton, and uh, she decided that they wanted land for themselves. So what they did, they bought an old house, and my dad took the, uh, he had his mule and wagon, and he tore the house down, and he put the limo on the house, and he carried it all the way back over there to the other side, it was a good piece he had to carry. And then he got that guy to help him build his house. During the, uh, and when he didn't have to work, he would go over there and help the guy build on the house, and we got the house built. And then we moved, we used to live on Terry Farm. So then we moved off in Terry Farm over there. When we moved, we had to move with the horse and the wagon. <laughs> Cause we didn't have no truck back then. So we used a horse and the wagon. We made a whole lot of trips <laughs> over there with that horse and wagon. Now was it a horse or was it a mule? It was a mule. Uh -huh. a mule. Well, we didn't have no horse. We had mules. Them old that's mules. what I thought. Yeah, that's what we had them old mules. We had to move over there. And then since we had them wooden stoves, we had to cut the wood and put it in the stove and bake our sweet potatoes because we weren't able to put up the stove the, the stove <laughs> until the next day so we could have some food to eat. <laughs> so we had a four old cast iron stove. And we had four hours on there. And we had to put the wood, take it up, put the wood, shell the wood up in there so we could cook. Huh. So then we had to go out there and cut that wood. And then we got ready to make a fire in the fireplace. We had to go down in the in the woods, and you know those old pine trees, where they be to come along and cut them off, mm -hmm. and they leave the uh, stump in the ground. So that's how we used to get the, the my mother used to call it the kiln. It was the pine. Mm. You know, we cut it up. That's how we start our fire. Gotcha. Lighten it, and we start our fire. Sometimes we could poke kerosene in there, but. My daddy didn't think that was too smart because you get caught a fire. He said, if the casting get on your clothes and when you throw the match in there, you end up on fire. Hmm. So yeah. And then in the fireplace, we had these things, well, it was cast iron where you put the wood on and they had holes in there. They were black. And we get hungry, we get us some sweet potato and we stick it up in there. <laughs> 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 and they come out just as black on the outside and we take the skin off that potato was good. <laughs> uh, I bet. Yeah, it was really good, but no, that's how they did in the old days. We survived. Well, that's right. Yeah. And then after that, let's see what happened after that. Oh, my mom finally got a car. She was able to drive, but before, instead of her putting all of us, she put us all of us in the car trying to learn how to drive. Now, all how all of you? How many sisters and brothers do you have? I have six sisters. And uh, I had three brothers. Okay. Yeah. What's the names? The oldest brother, my oldest sister named Helen. And my next under her is Angel. Under her come Donizel. Well, they gave her Donizel. My mother changed her name. <laughs> but actually didn't change it on the birth certificate. So when she found out she was 18, she found out her name was Margaret. Mm-hmm. Cause she, you know, my mom, she always was changing names. But anyway, <laughs> and and Dorothy May is the next one. Then we have Flower Junior. He comes in between Dorothy May and Dorothy Dean. And after that was Lillian. Myself is Matt. The baby boy name is Zelp Hackett. 
Now, when you guys were growing up, did you guys all get along? Or? No, we fuss, we fight. And the one named Dorothy D, she used to go eat garlic at night so you wouldn't get close to her. <laughs> <laughs> but see, our bed, we didn't have no uh, mattress. We had a hay bed. What my mom would take these sacks and she'd sew them together, which was the feeding sacks that we take and get for the for the um, for the hogs. Yeah, and she would take them sacks and she'll sew them together, and they put straw and hay off in there, and then we have to get in between there and make it up. Huh? She left a split in between. <laughs> and then we'll get in there, we'll make it up, and it'll be so pretty. But then the minute you sit on it, it's going to go back down. <laughs> and then you got to make it up the next day. We had springs, and then we had that laying on top of the, box, the spring. We didn't have no box mm. spring. We had the spring, the old-fashioned spring. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine that? Wow. So it was just a spring, and you put the... A spring, you lay on top of there with the boards. Oh, okay. You lay it on the board. We had that urn bed. It was an iron bed, though. Mm. But we had the board that goes across there, and then we had to put the springs down, and then she made that mattress out of those sweet such, probably ain't pronouncing it right, mm -hmm. sacks. Kay. That's what she did with the one you feed the hog with. Mm -hmm. And then the one they buy the flower with, she made our dresses out of there. Uh -huh. And she did all that on her hand. Wow. So, so no, we only had one pair of shoes, and they were broken in. And then when we took the sole come from on the bottom of my shoes, my dad will take the ice pit, and then he'll take a piece of wire, and he'll wire your shoes back together. <laughs> <laughs> when they were buying those shoes, wow. he wired it back together. And that's the only way you have to wear it. What else you going to do? You didn't have no money to buy no more. Mm -hmm. See, kids today, they wouldn't go to school like that. Yep. But you told so you was in the, living in the what depression time where you didn't mm -hmm. have that much money. Now, about what year was this? Uh, let me see. That was had to have been in forty nine. It was in the forties. Okay. Okay. It was in the forties because I was born in nineteen forty four. Okay. Yeah, so it was in the forties when, mm. when they was doing all that. But they, yeah. what he did like his dad because his dad had a lot of kids too. Mm hmm. So, you know, when you brought up like it, what could you do? That's right. And then we lived, we lived on the farm. We didn't know no better. We saw crabs coming up out the pond when it rained. Mm -hmm. We didn't know no better. We didn't know you could eat it. We take and throw it back in the pond. <laughs> <laughs> but after I came to California, <laughs> I figured we throwing the best part of the food <laughs> back in the water. You know? <laughs> We didn't know there was a crab. We saw, you know, we just seen it crawling out of there. Every time mm -hmm. it rained, they would come up out the pond. Big crab? Yeah, there was a real big one. Mm. But see, we didn't know no better. Right. So you thought, hey, you throw it back in there. It looked like an insect. Uh-huh. You know, with the big old tail back. Right. There, you throw it back. You, you didn't know. Wow. So as I came to California, then I realized you could eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was laughing. I told Dean not long ago. I said, you know one thing, we, we was throwing the best food back in the water. <laughs> didn't know. Yeah. See, you know. And, and they didn't know. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they would have told us to bring them home and we cook them. Yep, but you're see, right. They, they didn't even know nothing about that. Mm -hmm. but, well, that's life, though. You, after you, you grow up and you live, you learn a lot. You're right. Now, what kind of jobs did they have back there well, in see, Mississippi? Back then, my daddy, he worked at the Wildbound where they make furniture okay. out of wood. Mm -hmm. And our first living room set, my dad brought the wood home. I'm sure he didn't get it honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and he made our first love seat. But we didn't know back then there was right. a love seat. Uh -huh. Well, you had two seats, and he put it in the living room. And that's what we caught it on. on the <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but he made it look good. You know what he did? What? He took some leather, car hide. He'd take the car hide when he killed the calves and stuff, uh -huh. and he'll pin it up behind the bun till it dries out. Right. And then he'll take and cut it, and he'll put it on the seats. Huh. So that's what he did. He'd tack them around on the seats. Right. And they didn't fall apart neither. Wow. Did he put padding in there, just a cowhide on just top of the cow, wood? No, nope, just a cowhide. There wasn't okay. no wood, just he put it around on there. Wow. And then, see, we had this big old water bucket sitting up on the 
on the back porch. Uh huh. And we have a dipper, which they call the gourd dipper, where you go and you you get it. Is they have it. I guess I don't know if he planted those goals or not, but he get in here, cut it around, and let it dry out. Mm-hmm. And that's what you used to, you know, drink the water out. Oh, okay. And everybody came and drank out that dipper. Mm-hmm. And you figure now, hey, you catch a disease drinking behind people. Right. <laughs> see, we never got sick. And that was water from the well? Water from the well. Okay. And then before that, we had to carry our water, big buckets of water. Right. From behind your aunt's house, Mr. Bell's house. Okay. So we used to go down and get our water and bring it back up. Okay. And then we got And he had a well? Yeah, he had a well. Okay. But when we got ready to wash, we had to take our clothes to the creek. Okay. And we wash all our clothes in the big old black pot. Mm-hmm. And we build a fire down in the woods. And we take our clothes down there and then we bring them back. Mm. And hang them on the line. Okay. Wow. wow. So that was, I'm saying. That was I, really going to the laundry. <laughs> but, you know, we did what we had to do. Mm-hmm. Like that. And we would walk. What is now, it? Now, what about the cows and the oh, hogs yeah. oh, and how y'all ate those, how you See, raised my, them? My, my dad, he would get the, he have the pigs out there, and they have pigs. And so when he get ready to kill one, he'll take and put that, he'll build a pen, and he'll put that pig in that pen on some boards. Mm-hmm. And the only thing he would feed the pig would be corn. Mm-hmm. That's how they clean them out. Mm-hmm. And then after that, they take and jump down that hall, knock him in the head, put the knife in the stuck, stab him there, mm-hmm. cut his throat. Mm-hmm. And then they had the, like a block and tickle with the chain on and a rope, and they'll hang it up in the tree and they'll keep pulling until they get it all the way up there. Mm-hmm. And then they beat him, boil some more hot water, big old can, what mm-hmm. well, was a drum. Mm-hmm. That's what it was, a drum. And they'll load that pig down in that drum and he have his neighbors Come over and all of them get on that hog and they'll scrape their hair off in that hog until the, that hog be white. Mm. And then when he got through, he knowed every piece of meat of the hog. He'll cut it and then he used to put it in the barrel mm-hmm. when it was salted down all the time. That's how they kept it because we didn't have no refrigerator, uh-huh. no freezer. So that's how they kept it like that. And it didn't so go bad. the meat didn't go bad, the meat didn't go although bad. it was not in the refrigerator. It wasn't in the refrigerator. You put it in a barrel he with a bunch of salt. That's right. He salted it. And down. where do you get the salt from? What kind of salt he, is this? You know, I know. Because you'd of have salt to have a was. lot of salt, wouldn't you? I don't know. He get a big, ba- uh, big bag of salt to okay. salt that meat down. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then as it goes on, later years, he built a smokehouse. Mm-hmm. And he did his own sausages. He's hanging up in that smoker. Mm-hmm. But it sure did. It's funny that meat didn't go bad. Yeah. And we didn't have no refrigerator. And when we did, we had a, like an ice box. And they used to buy them big block of ice right. and put it in there. Mm-hmm. That is funny. That meat should have went bad, but it didn't. Wow. Well, that's what we ate. We had meat all year, all winter long. Uh-huh. Like that. And did your granddad do any hunting? I mean, oh, your daddy do any hunting? Dad, he... What he would do, take his shotgun to work and his sack. And he'll stash it in the woods somewhere on his way to work, walking to work, because he had to walk to work, he didn't have no car. Mm-hmm. And he'll leave when he comes back at night, he have a possum. In- <laughs> yeah, he have a possum in that, <laughs> in that bag. So- and he'll bring it there. And <laughs> it's funny now when you think about it. <laughs> he would bring that possum home. And then he'll take and you know, and put an axe across the possum, pull up on his tail and break his neck. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, and he'd skin that possum. And my mom would cook that possum. He'd come home from school. She'd been and put potatoes around that <laughs> possum. And I'd be hollering, I want the head. <laughs> then my sister used to fuss over the head of the possum. Now what to do the yeah. wasn't no meat on the head. Why why can we work? we want the head from the possum? Now, I won't eat it now. Yeah, I hear possum is the worst meat you can eat, huh? No, possum is was good back then. Possum we was good. We were little kids coming up. We right. didn't know no better. It probably depends on how you cook it, like anything else, but I my guess. My mom would bake it in the oven. Okay. That's what she would do. And put uh, sweet potatoes around, bake sweet potatoes mm. around. And we come home, we see that possum laying up there. <laughs> 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 we would go for the possum. But it was good. But you didn't use, But I won't eat one now because it's a possum. Eat did you know? Right. 
you know, stuff like mm-hmm. that. Human beings when they find their culprits. Mm-hmm. No, I won't do that no more. Wow. But it's funny now when you think about it. Did y'all hunt rabbits? That's what he did. He had yeah. he had his dogs where he go hunt rabbits. Mm-hmm. And I'd have forgot what the dog's name. Beagles. No, your mm-hmm. grandfather had some beagle hunts. Right. But I don't know what my daddy used to have them look them dogs and he would take them and they go uh, hunting with it. Oh, okay. And he was always bringing rabbits back. And you know what the funniest thing was? He would see blackbirds going by. He will take his shotgun and go out there in the backyard. He will shoot up in the air, and the birds fall down. Uh, and we used to make those <laughs> blackbird, blackbird ducking, my mother did. <laughs> now, you don't know what else one did. And he see, if he see geese going, you know, going uh-huh. by, and they flying up in there, ducks, uh-huh. he will take that old shotgun and shoot up in there, boom, <laughs> and they'll fall down. Wow. Sure will. He, you see, see him running the house. I'm going to get my gun. He shoot up there. He bring something down. <laughs> Well, at least we thank God we're never hungry. We always yep. have plenty of food to eat. You're right. Like that. Well, one thing I could say about him, he did take care of his family, put him right. first. That's good. I don't care what he did, the kids came first. Yeah. Now, these days, people ain't got time for these little kids. Mm-hmm. Now, when my dad used to go out there and be building on stuff, mm-hmm. I chased behind. I'd be every move right there. He never said, go in the house. You know right. What? Mm-hmm. You know, he'll take up time with you. Right. But now these young parents, they don't even want to be bothered these kids and show them how to do nothing. Yep. Uh, these kids now, all they want to do is watch TV and play games. Mm-hmm. But see, we didn't have no game, And we didn't have, well, we never had no toys mm-hmm. because they couldn't afford them. Yep. So, so there's a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, we didn't great. have no money, but we was happy. That's right. <laughs> didn't have no money, and then I only had two dresses to wear, a pair uh-huh. of shoes to wear to church. That's it. <laughs> yeah. And then we had our stocking. When we did got a we work and, and get them, uh-huh. we buy the stock and get a run in there. We see the run come to get some fingernail polish and put on the run so the run don't keep keep opening up, go up your leg with a hole in, <laughs> in your stocking. Now, how were the schools back then? Well, we had interracial school. Okay. Well, we went to one school and they went to the other, the black school and the white school. Okay. And you wasn't allowed to go to their school. Okay. Like that. But we used to have to walk to school. Uh-huh. So my daddy finally got somebody to come over and pick us up. Oh. Uh-huh. And that's Bobby right there. Yep. He caught me with uh, my, my uh, Smurf Blue on. That's like the baby of the family. Uh-huh. Here we go. <laughs> the brat of the yeah, the brat. Yeah, right.